The way you teach your children conflict resolution is actually quite simple. You don't teach them conflict resolution when they're in the middle of a conflict. That's when everybody's emotions are running high and they flip their lid. They literally flip their lid. That's when they can't think. That's why we have that expression. So that's not the time to teach them conflict resolution. We teach them conflict resolution as if it's a game or a fun activity at a time where the kids are actually either getting along or everything is just copacetic. You say to the children, we're going to learn a new game. It's called the peace chairs. And you sit each of the kids in chairs. And they should be cozy and comfortable. You tell the children, let's pretend that you're fighting. Let's pretend that you're fighting over, oh, I don't know, there's one Yu-Gi-Oh card and you're fighting over it. How do you think we can work this out? And so through practice, you help them work it out. You narrate what one kid feels. You narrate what the other kid feels. And then you throw out, wow. We have two children and only one card. What are we going to do? And then, because it's a game and kids want to win, they try to figure out the most creative solutions. And one of the things they could say is, um, you know, let's take turns, or I can have it first, or you can have it first, or something even more creative, like let's play store, and you'll be the salesman, and I'll be the customer, and I'll buy the Yu-Gi-Oh card. This is the way you teach conflict resolution. And then when it happens in real life that they are fighting, you can say, oh, peace chairs, guys. And they know that there's going to be a smart mom or dad there narrating what the kids are going through, that everybody's needs are important, and it's going to be settled in a fair way.